So if you remember from Svelte for Beginners, we talked about components and how it's easy to get carried away and try to turn everything into a component. So a general rule of thumb when working with components, try to put as much as you can in a single file until it becomes hard to manage. So we're going to keep everything inside to do Svelte until I conveniently need to split things up for the sake of the tutorial. But yeah, I just want to uh, emphasize that you shouldn't obsess over components because when I read someone say it's always like, oh man, what should I turn into a component? I want to turn everything into a component. I don't know when should I turn everything into a component. Okay, ju just stop thinking about it. Just write your code and literally the things that should be a component are going to present themselves to you. Trust me. Okay, so first let's create a to-do Svelte in source components and then we're going to import it in app.svelte. So we can go to source and we can create a new file and we can say components slash this is going to create a new folder and then we can say to-do Svelte. And then let's import it inside app.svelte. If we say import root components and this is going to auto complete for us thank you typescript and then we can use it we can say to do's and that should work so yeah it's complaining yeah because I cannot find name to do's oh because <laughs> i'm silly we have to import to do's from to do's yeah okay. so we can go here and we can just say for fun to do's and it should work right if we update it let's see yeah Hello world, to-dos. Okay, awesome. So inside to-do Svelte, let's add this markup. And going back to learning how to learn and using like our detective skills. So how I would first approach recreating to-do MVC, I would just copy the HTML markup, right? And I would start from there, like just start from the basics, add the HTML skeleton structure, maybe the styles if you want, but don't even focus on the styles because those aren't that important, right? And then we can add the logic and figure out things later, right? We're going to type this all out because let's start building that muscle memory, right? Like, please, when you're watching a tutorial or something, don't just consume it. You're going to feel like you learn something, but you're not going to learn anything. And that's the major reason why people are so paralyzed when they're starting a new project, because they forget everything and you really need to go through the struggle. But let's go through it together, right? So let me hide the sidebar and we can just create a main using Emmet. I'm pressing tab so it auto completes. And then we can add a h1. We can say h1 title and we can say tab or enter and that's going to auto complete for us. We can say to do's. And then we're going to have a section with a class to do's. We're going to tab complete that. Then let's create a form. We don't need the action because we're using client side JavaScript. And then we're going to say input, that's going to be a checkbox, right? The ID is going to be toggle all, and the class is going to be toggle all. This might be hard to read, but I hope you can read it well. So we're going to make this more accessible. I'm going to say aria label mark all as complete for toggle all because that's the ID we set here, right? So it references this and this is good for accessibility. Yeah, and we can just mark all as complete. And of course, uh, in CSS, we're going to hide the text and that's why we need the ARIA label so the screen readers can read it. Yeah, so after the label is still inside the form, we can say input. We can keep that it's of type text if we want. We can say ID new to do. I'm going to say class new to do. I'm going to have a placeholder. What needs to be done? Yeah, type text. And if you remember previously, one of our checklist items was that the input has to be autofocus when the page loads. But I strongly discourage you to use this in your projects because it's bad for accessibility when you hijack the focus from someone. But since this is a single page app and the only thing on the page, we can focus it. And we can already cross out an item from our list because we don't need to use JavaScript for this. Yeah, so we can just save this and see even you can see here the warning. Avoid using autofocus. And our linter is awesome because of that. So if you go here, yeah, we can see if we even refresh the page. You can see it's right here. 
yes, yeah, so we can continue further. So let's see, this is the form. And let's add a UL with a class of to-do list. And then each to-do item is going to have a class of to-do. And now we can just say that's a div of to-do item. And inside of it, it has another div that has an input. It's going to have an ID of to-do, class of toggle, and it's going to be a checkbox if I can type. Then we're going to have another label that has an ARIA label, check to do. And it's going to have a class of to do check. Yeah, if we should just see it for to do, right? For to do. Yeah, and we don't even need the text for the label, so we can auto close it. Just remove this. So we can do this. Let's go to the beginning. So we have our input and label. And then we're going to have a span that has a class of to do text. We're going to have a placeholder to do one. Then we're going to have a button. We're going to have an aria label. Remove to do for the screen reader because it's just going to be styled using CSS. So even the button doesn't have anything inside of it. Yeah, let's just go here. So we can see here before the to do item is finished and after the div ends. This is going to be our to-do that we're going to conditionally show. That's why it's commented out. So we can say it's an input of type text. You can also say it should have an autofocus because that's what happens when we're in the editing state. Uh, it's a double-edged sword, you can say, because it's a nice user experience and it's a bad one at the same time for people with disabilities. So we can say class edit and we can comment this out because we're going to be using it way later. So this is going to be the section with the options for our to-dos. It's going to include the filters, completed and so on. So yeah, let's do that. I'm going to have a div of actions. There's going to be a span with a to-do count. We can have a placeholder, zero left. Let's create a div with filters. And we can say button that has a class of filter. We can say all. And then we can add more and say active completed and they're all the same so let's show more here and this is going to be the clear completed to do clear completed clear completed yeah and we can save it and that's not a lot of markup it looks like it because of the format thing but it's not really that bad so if we go here we can see it currently looks like this because we haven't added the styles yet also let me just remove the hell world here because we don't need this anymore yeah so let's just add all the styles here and i even commented out the sections so it's going to be easier later to split them into components so you know which is which this is that to do then we have to do filters and that's what i meant when i said we would be stuck here for hours just <laughs> styling right uh so let me just see that i yeah i copy the style here he's complaining because we're not using this yet so yeah here is a lot but let me just mention so you can inspect the styles here you can even see how things work for example like how do they do the thing where they have the custom checkbox styles right and here is showing how and you can expect that and learn that way so we can we have a lot of scrolling to do boys so we can go to the top and then we can just save this is going to be sculpted this component because that's how it works in svelte if you remember right and awesome so that's it like this is how simple it can be for you and this is how you can learn the most just find an example and recreate it go step by step don't be overwhelmed by the big picture just go one step at a time and you're going to get there